Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this um, audio slash video, I wanted to talk about five reasons why women lose interest in you, right? And I want to talk specifically about when you actually go up to a girl, you're talking to her, and initially she was, you know, feeling you. And then while you're talking, while you're interacting with her, um, she starts to lose interest. And that's the thing that makes her sort of reject you. You feel what I'm saying? So I got an email from a subscriber and, you know, he talks about this in his email. So I'm going to read the email and then we're going to get into this. Right. So it says, hey, Mr. Locario, I'm a big fan because of you. I lost my virginity anyway, getting straight into it. I'm a decent looking guy that gets looks from women a lot. When I go to a social setting, for example, a female will keep looking in my direction. When I finally approach and speak to them, they seem interested to begin with, but lose interest after a while, even though they were clearly physically attracted to me at first. This seems to happen to me 95% of the time. I don't know why I'm struggling to correct this even after taking your advice what kind of attributes can i add to my game to be seen as a sexual threat and not just some nice guy seeking more uh mere conversation all right so so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna you know tell you guys out there um you know five things that you're doing that's gonna that's basically making a woman lose interest in you while you're you know you, you see it seems like they're feeling you and then when you try to make something happen you know it just doesn't fall through right now there are times where you're talking to a girl and she has a boyfriend so this is why it's not going to happen because you're talking to her and she has a man so sometimes she won't even let you know she has a boyfriend but she'll just like you know, reject, the, you know, the uh, you when you try to get the number, she'll be like, oh, no, I'm not looking for that, blah, 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 blah. But she won't really necessarily let you know she has a boyfriend, but she actually does. Right. Or sometimes, you know, you're talking to a girl or whatever and like she's just in a bad mood and all this other stuff. So, you know, that type of stuff happens. So in this audio, I want to talk specifically more about stuff that, you know, you're doing that could make a woman sort of change her mind and not want to give you the number and all this other stuff, right? So this is in no order of importance, but I'm gonna just go one through five, right? So one is you're taking too long to close the deal, okay? You're taking way too long to close the deal. So when you're talking to women, what you wanna do is you wanna basically get to the point as soon as you can, as soon as possible, right? You don't want to sit there talking to some girl for like 15, 20 minutes, because what happens is the more that you talk, the more chances you uh, give yourself to say something, you know, goofy or stupid, that's going to make her change her mind about you. Okay. So while you're talking to her, she's thinking, oh, this guy is cool. I'm attracted to him, yada, yada, yada. And then you keep rambling on, rambling on, rambling on about some, some other shit. And then she starts to be like, okay, this guy's not as, you know, awesome as I thought, right? So the thing is, is that you want to basically um, keep the shit short, right? Keep it short, close the deal as soon as possible, right? Because the thing is, when you do that, you know, she doesn't, she's still sort of wondering about you. She's thinking about you. She's, you know, wondering what's going to, you know, go down if you call her and all this other stuff, or if you get in contact again and go out. So, you know, when you keep it short, you keep that anticipation going. But if you're, you know, just talking, 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 and you're making it so long, that's the thing that can make her lose interest. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you keep the shit short. All right. Now, number two, um, you know, the second thing that could go down is you're just talking and not flirting. OK, so you're just talking and not flirting. Right. So there's a difference between talking, having a regular conversation, having small talk and actually flirting. Right. So if you're just talking to a girl and that's all you're doing. That's the thing that can make a lose interest because what, what's what's happening is she's, you know, interacting with you and she's expecting you to flirt or she wants to flirt with you because she's feeling you. But then if you're just being super regular and just, you know, talking about, oh, so, you know, how's your day going? And, you know, oh, what do you do for work? And blah, 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 you know, regular shit. 
If you do that too long and you're not, you know, implementing any flirting, right? That's not going to keep her interested in you because she wants to talk to you as a woman talking to a man that she's interested in. So if you're just talking on some regular shit, it's like you're just some friendly guy. You're like, a, a you know, a, a guy friend or something that she's just talking to because you're not, you know, turning up the situation to where you and her are flirting with each other. Right. This is why I tell you guys, make sure you go to bad boy membership so you can get my um, audio program, the art of flirting okay make sure you go to bad boy membership to get the art of flirting all right so now number three third reason why a chick will lose interest is you don't know how to keep the conversation going you don't know how to keep the conversation going so even you know because i was saying earlier you gotta you know get to the point uh, make this shit short. Don't be sitting there all day. And even though you make it short and you do all this other stuff, you still need to be able to know how to converse within that short amount of time to be able to close the deal effectively. You understand what I'm saying? So what happens is the, a lot of guys run out of stuff to say. So when you're, when you run out of stuff to say, and you're having a conversation with a chick or whatever, then it becomes sort of like this awkward um, interaction between you and her. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so that awkwardness sort of kills the momentum of, you know, the conversation and how things are going. And that's because you ran out of stuff to say because you didn't know how to, you know, keep the convo going. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so that's the thing that can make her lose interest, that sort of awkward, uh, you know, interaction that's going on now because you didn't know how to keep the conversation going you understand what i'm saying and then what happens is that sometimes you know you're in a situation you're talking to a girl and since you sort of run out of stuff to say you don't know how to keep the conversation going you're sort of just standing around and it's like you're pulling you know things out of the air just to keep the conversation going and it's like you know she could feel that energy you understand what i'm saying and that is a thing that sort of makes her be like, eh, you know, he's okay, but, you know, I'll pass. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to know how to keep the conversation going. And again, make sure you guys go to badboymembership.com so that you can get my audio program, how to step up your conversation skills, okay? Make sure you guys go get that, all right? Now, number four, you know, and this is what I talk about all the time. Number four is you're not confident. And every time I speak about confidence, you know, certain dudes are like, oh, but, you know, I don't understand. And what do you mean? And how, you know, what, what's that about? And, you know, how do I be confident and all this other stuff? Right. The thing is, if you're not confident, what happens is when you talk to women, you sound nervous. You sound really unsure of yourself. You are, you know, all up in your head. You're not in the moment. You understand? So all those things can contribute to you not coming across in in the situation as a guy who's sure of himself, a guy who's confident. And confidence to women is sexy. You understand what I'm saying? Women love confident dudes because your confidence, what it's displaying to her is that you're the type of guy that she can be with And sort of feel secure and safe with you and feel like you got shit under control when you're nervous, when you're insecure, when you have that, you know, like uh, energy that you're not too sure of yourself. That doesn't make a woman feel like she can like depend on you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And so that's a turnoff for her. Also, what you got to understand is a lot of women are, are, you know, super insecure. So what happens is that they're sort of looking for a guy, um, you know, for guidance, for that upgrade, for all those different things um, in, in, in these situations between her and him. And if you're the type of guy who's not confident, a guy who's not sure of himself, she can't really see that in you. And that's the thing that's going to make her not really want to fuck with you like that. Right. Because, you know, in the, in the email, you were saying that certain girls are probably uh, looking your direction and all this other stuff. So now, a chick might, let's say if she just found you uh, physically attractive and thought you was cute or whatever. And the next thing you know, you come over to her and you finally come and talk to her. And then she sees how nervous you are. You understand? And even the fact of you, you know, sometimes waiting too long 
to go and talk to this chick to these chicks that right there is is you know that's going to be interpreted as you're not that confident because you're sort of second you're guessing yourself you're waiting wait too you're waiting way too long to do the shit you understand see there's a difference between if you chilling at a spot or whatever you talking to your friend and you see some girl across the the way and she's checking you out but you're in the middle of a conversation with your friend so you just you know whatever you understand what i'm saying but if you're sitting there and she's looking at you and you're looking back at her and then she's looking at you and you're looking back at her and then you're like turning your head to look somewhere else and then you look back at her and she's looking at you and you're doing this whole damn thing and she's thinking what the fuck dude when are you gonna come over and say something you understand and so by you sit standing there and not saying anything that's going to show her or you know give her that vibe that you're not confident do you understand what i'm saying so it's very important for you to be confident and to understand that you have to be confident in order for you to have this type of success with women, right? So, guys, make sure you go to MrLocario.com and get my book, How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, because it comes with a free um, audio program called The Confidence Booster, okay? And that will help you with your confidence, all right? Now, the last thing that you know will make a chick lose interest is when you're trying to impress her okay you're trying to impress her so what happens is you have a lot of dudes out here if you'll talk to women and what you're trying to do is you're trying to brag about you know things you got going on or about the money you got about the car you got about this about that so you're doing all of this to try to impress her and what's going on is that you don't come off as authentic you don't come off as just a guy who's you know cool calm and collected humble just doing your thing and making shit happen right you come off as you're trying to win her over you're trying to overcompensate you're you're, you're trying to um, basically do too much to get her. And so when she sees this, she's looking at you like, yo, like, why are you, why are you overdoing it? Like what's going on with you? You understand what I'm saying? And again, that doesn't even make you look confident. It makes, you know, because, because you seem like you're trying too hard to get her to like you, to impress you. And that's not going to make her feel you. You understand? So if she had some sort of interest in you, and then you start talking and you are trying to impress her and do all this other extra shit. That's the thing that can make her lose interest in you because now she's looking at you like, damn, like you are trying really hard to, uh, you know, make something happen. Right. Because, see, the thing you got to understand about women is this, is that women are attracted to men who they feel like they sort of need to get. Meaning if a guy is basically bending over backwards saying hey uh i'm awesome i'm i'm great i i you know you should you should pick me pick me pick me please like me like me pick me like me pick me right that's sort of the vibe and energy you're giving when you're trying to impress a chick when you're trying to do all this other extra shit right so now when she's looking when she sees you in that sort of state of mind or if she gets that vibe from you that's going to make her say you know what why why would i even bother to deal with this dude when he's you know he's he's not really confident in himself to you know be sure of himself for me to want to get with this program you understand because what he's doing is or what she's looking at you doing is that instead of you saying hey i'm valuable you're saying hey I'm nothing and you are the only value that I see and I, I want to get with you. I want to get with your program. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is which is why I'm trying to impress you. I'm trying to bend over backwards. I'm trying to do all this extra shit so that you will like me and pick me to be with versus if you're a guy who's, you know, chilling, you're confident, you're doing your thing and she sees that and you have that vibe of, you know, hey, I'm here, take it or leave it, right? That's something that a woman wants to gravitate to and that's what's going to make her uh be interested in you and want to know more about you and want to see what the situation is about that's what's going to get her curious to continue to want to make something happen right when you're you know laying it all out and you're like oh you're so great pick me i'm the best or you know you're like oh i i i really hope you like me i really hope you want me i really and then by you trying to do all this stuff to impress her that's not going to work 
You understand what I'm saying? It's not going to work at all. So, you know, you got to understand that, you know, you don't have to do any of that type of shit. You know, you understand that you're valuable and that's the thing that's going to make the women want to gravitate to you. You understand? So just understand that, you know, a lot of times when you guys are out here talking to women, um, you know, and you don't get her number or she's not really interested at the end of the conversation and all this other stuff. A lot of times, you know, there are times you're dealing with a chick who could have been feeling you. And then, you know, just by these, you know, little mistakes that I'm talking about in this video, that's the thing that could make her change her mind. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you just got to, you know, understand that that type of shit is going on. But the thing is, I don't want you to focus too much on that. You understand what you need to focus on is, you know, you improving yourself, you being confident, you, um, you know, when you're interacting with women to, you know, keep it short, get to the point uh, and, and, and then just keep that shit pushing. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's going to make it, it, a, it a little bit more um, beneficial for you. Um, you know, when you're dealing with all these women out here, you feel me? So guys, make sure uh, you go to bad boy membership uh, to get all the membership audio and video dating advice tutorials so you can really step up your game. Also, if you have a question, make sure you click the link below to send me your question and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below so you can send me a question and I'll do a video on it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which gives you seven tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And number three, I want you to click the link under that to go to badboymembership.com where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Hey, what's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to badboymembership.com and master the dating game by joining my Bad Boy Membership Program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the Bad Boy Membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.